by the time the average woman reaches 60 years old, she will have made $450,000 less than a man in the same exact position. Well, I'm not even surprised by it. At my first job, I learned that my less qualified male coworker was making almost twice as much as me. Wow. These are some very outrageous claims. Women will make $450,000 less than a man in the exact same position, and your less qualified male co-worker earned twice what you did. Hmm. Very extraordinary claims indeed. And as you know, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Through all recorded jobs worked within the United States, women choose to enter jobs in which they'd earn 33 cents less an hour on average, as opposed to the jobs men choose to enter. It wasn't the same jobs, just the national average of all jobs worked that showed that women took lower paying jobs. More teachers are women and earn less than more construction workers, who are mostly men. Of course, feminists try to spin it as if the 33 cent difference were a man and a woman being in the same position. But a simple Google search on the U U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, where this statistic is primarily sourced, shows that the gap isn't in the same position, but in the overall differences in money earned by men and women on the average whole. Your claim, Miss Green, and a growing number of feminists, is that it's for the exact same job. And I'll be frank, I don't believe a word of it. No, I'm not saying I'm skeptical of it. I'm saying I flat out don't believe it. However, I'm not without an open mind, and I'm calling on you and the rest of the feminists out there who claim that this pay gap exists to provide evidence of it. If you can provide the requested evidence 100%, then I shall make a video apologizing for my lack of belief and even aid you in your desires for equal pay. In order to prove the pay gap, the following must be provided. Number one, 50 individuals, 25 men and 25 women of 25 different companies, with one man and one woman working for the same company in the exact same position. Two, the documentation that shows that said man and woman started within the last six months of each other in the same position and maintained their position within the company for a minimum of two years' time. Three, the documentation for the same amount of time worked. By this, I mean that neither took any more time off than the other. This includes vacations, maternity leave, paternity leave, hospital admission, sick days, personal days, etc., etc. 4. Consecutive pay stubs for those two years worked by both parties, including overtime and holiday pay. 5. That both have the same education level. As some form of education, including, but not limited to, college degrees, licenses, certificates, etc., etc., are valued in certain positions over others. And finally, 6. That both receive the same number of disciplinary actions taken against them that they may have influenced the employer's decision to give the disciplined employee a raise, or not. Note, this isn't taking into account the factor of exceptional performance, or any other variables in terms of work or ethic that may give one employee or another more pay. I understand this variable, but am unsure of how to include it with documentation. So, at the risk of criticism, I have chosen to disregard it for this particular experiment. Showing all of these bits of information, with the man and woman in the same position and company with adequate overlap, will be enough to convince me of your stance. Since this is an on-average thing, and espoused to be everywhere, attaining the required documentation should be relatively simple work for you. However, there's a catch. For every male that shows the reverse of what I've asked for and gives evidence that a female actually earns more than her male counterpart, you will be deducted one count. It's fair, right? That for every one woman that's paid more than her male co-worker balances out the male co-worker that's paid more than a female worker, right? Right. Please feel free to share this video on any and all feminist networking sites, blog, Twitter, with the hashtag prove the pay gap or whatever. The feminists have made a huge claim, and I think it's time that claim was finally called to task. And since they are the ones who made the claim, the burden of proof is on to them. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. I do look forward to your findings.